All right, welcome back. This is Dan Harley with Tech Talk, episode number 152, Fast and Cheap Ways to Get Your Restaurant Online, recorded on April 2nd, 2020. This is another special edition uh, of Tech Talk focusing on the COVID-19 lockdown, how it's affecting uh, small business owners, medium-sized business owners out there. Uh, previous episodes of a lot of this, this, uh, this series, episode 150 is Fast and Cheap Ways to Work Remotely, I, where I try to help business employees uh, quickly and cheaply work from, to, to work from home. Uh, episode number 151 is Doctors Can Video Chat with Patients. This is a discussion about the relaxed HIPAA compliance, which, al which al is now allowing uh, physicians to use common video chat apps, such as Facebook, um, Facebook chat, stuff like that, for uh, so they can practice telemedicine. Uh, all can be accessed uh, from the website primeconstance.net. Uh, I also talked to many uh, clients and small business owners out there. Uh, frankly, everyone's impacted by this COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, and I also spent a lot of time on webinars and various different webinars and online meetings to find updated information on how to help small business owners during the lockdown, help them try to keep operating, keep going, stuff like that. Um, also, um, First of all, I'm going to apologize. We're about ready to, to talk about here. I need to address a few things first before I go on with the with the actual meat of the episode. Uh, I've been getting I got a little bit of foot pushback on previous episodes. Some people are suggesting I capitalize on this epidemic, for lack of better terms, and at other people's expenses. Um, usually, I ignore the trolls and I take light of the situation. I even sometimes even joke about it, uh, but really not this time. Uh, the accus accusations towards me are absolutely not true. You know, me personally, um, despite what appears in public, I very rarely let anyone know about my personal life. Um, anyone that knows me knows I'm usually the first person to offer help, to, be it to family, to friends, uh, strangers, charity, or otherwise. And I rarely acknowledge what I do. And I really do I get, get credit for what I've done. I never really want the attention towards that anyway. That's just how I am. Now, I opened Prime Constance over 20 years ago. Uh, to do something most others didn't do at the time, and even now, is sincerely help my clients and business, who are business owners to succeed and do it honestly and practically. Um, most of my clients come to me after they've been burned by someone else. And I'm proud to help so many turn that, that bad experience around it and, and make good out of it. Uh, and many times I opted for to recommend stuff, recommended services are less expensive or free services, where I could have easily recommended more expensive alternatives and made a lot of money from it, and they would never have known. But that's not my style. That's that, and that's where I differ from many of my colleagues in this industry. Um, during the COVID nineteen lockdown, for me personally, fortunately. I don't have to travel for work, even now or before or even after. Uh, most all the services I performed are can be done online or remotely. And my team of strategic partners are all online. So technically, I can continue working without issue under lockdown and easily limit my personal travel to, to bare necessities, which I have. I've uh, basically, you know, limit to store for essentials uh, and schedule doctor appointments. Um I'm also been very busy since lockdown. I felt so business returned to operations. I haven't built for anything, and I've made zero from helping others so far. I'm hopeful that they remember me when I'm when this is all over, and maybe could do business with me in the future. Um, now, also here too, my expenses haven't dropped uh, dis despite the the lockdown. I still have bills to pay dis despite the despite the COVID nineteen thing going on. I have essentials that need to continue on for my clients, regardless of them being shut down. Um, I have no landlord asked for hardship. I can't apply for unemployment or as a small business owner. I do have a rainy day fund that uh, I can sustain on at least for a short time, and but not indefinite. So that's literally scaring me. Um, <clears throat> And also, like my my income has dropped significantly. All my clients, most all my clients have, have cut back. Some of my clients have shut down till further notice. So the invoices aren't being paid. So, um, my lesson learned from all of this: my residual income wasn't where I thought it was. 
and I definitely need to diversify more and work on that so this doesn't happen again. So, frankly, uh, the lockdown definitely defines what is necessary, what's necessary, and what's bullshit. So, now I'm not looking for sympathy. Uh, I've been through worse that this lockdown could put me through. And I will survive and this and hopefully will force on the other side of it. Uh, to those that have issue, have issue with me trying to sustain my business by helping other businesses, this is literally what I've been doing for over 20 years. And I'm not going to stop doing that because of a few ignorant opinions. And I'm not going to apologize for trying to help people sustain their business, their livelihood, and ultimately their employees' paychecks. And which is also their livelihood too. So you can always stop watching my videos and or podcast and choose something else to listen to or 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 look at. So that said, it's time to help others, those of you with restaurants who are shutting down because of the COVID-19 lockdown. So anyway, we're going to talk about fast and cheap ways to get your restaurant online. A uh, little story here is uh, I got a friend of mine who has a full restaurant. They're shutting down, unfortunately. Um, they've already got hit beforehand because of, I'm going to call Asian bias, where when the COVID-19 um, issue was started circling around the news, there was an obvious drop in their business. Um, pho is not Chinese, it's Vietnamese, but there's still that, that, forum of Asian thing going on. So it definitely impacted the business earlier this, this year. This dropped off. Um, and so anyway, when the when the lockdown came around, they, they temporarily they temporarily closed down. They opened for a day to try to do a takeout, but wasn't making any money. They had maybe two or three sales during the whole day. So it decided to close indefinitely. Now, um, my friend's business is not unique. They're among many businesses affected by the lockdown. And restaurants are probably the most visible, especially the, the, the family-oriented restaurants, the family-owned restaurants. So maybe, maybe never prepare for this. They were, and for good reason. Um, they never expected this to happen. No, they never expected this to happen. You know, they worked their ass off just... For just to keep the doors open, twelve to fourteen hour days is not uncommon, and there's really no time to deviate what they've been doing. So they have very common reasons why, you know, many common reasons, commonalities there. You know, they never really embrace the internet. They kind of maintain traditional restaurant service and predominantly had dining revenue. Um, but you know, what it comes down to here is the you know. The lockdown, but it bluntly makes it obvious what's working and and not working. It cuts the BS right away. So, um, what seems to be going on here? You know, we have a pattern here, and, and, and after looking for a couple weeks, what's going on? There's a pattern. The restaurants are succeeding. Uh, they, they're kind of following this pattern here. First of all, online takeout orders are exploding. A lot of it's because the dining is, dining is all, dining uh, clientele is all shut down. Uh, but also, even before the shutdown, um, online takeout, there's really minimal expenses, um, and it has indefinite, indefinite potential income. And you can see all the big franchise restaurants out there, such as the, you got your uh, TGI Fridays and, and your Red Robins and your Applebee's and, and all these major chain restaurants. They already are prepared for takeout, and, and for good reason. It's because it, it makes them money. And makes some money without having to add, having to add another table. Uh, Raytrace is rare thing, so uh, so they have embraced that. They also embrace their technology. They got websites that deliver. They're working with, with delivery services. Services they're active with social networking. And at the end of all this, they're gonna, they're looking like a hero because they're staying open. Unfortunately, with the restaurants that are struggling, um, they maintain kind of stay with the rich, rich, traditional operations. They rely predominantly on, on dine-in revenue. Takeout is minimal. Um, they have no delivery services. Uh, they rely mostly on word of mouth. And unfortunately, I see this a lot. Uh, they avoid technology. No website, no social networking services. And this is a, a common pattern. They're mostly due, they're closed down during the lockdown. So um, 
it's unfortunate. In fact, let me talk about a little story here. Uh, a local restaurant owner near me here, uh, he they literally jumped on takeout delivery services. They were locked down. They were really pushing it before. Um, but they were, in fact, on Facebook, Instagram, had a website, so on and so forth. Really had no choice. Either start doing takeout and start doing delivery or shut down. So they turned did a, did a complete 180. Um, they went on Facebook, Instagram, announced they were open, posted pictures of the food and drinks, uh, and, and did several times a day. And they were out there delivering. They were out there, and they looked like local heroes for, for remaining open. So anyway, I am trying to um, help you guys out there. They are closing down or thinking about closing down or already closed down. Um, get your restaurant open to get your restaurant open, open again. And we're going to try so I'm going to show you some low cost, no cost ways to get this thing done. Rapidly deploy this, get this thing up, up, back up and going, get yourself back up and going in, as well as expand this in the future. So, um, so let's jump in here. Anyway. You really got to get up gear for delivery and takeout. It comes down to that. The lockout is going to shut down your dining for, well, it's beginning April or for at least a month, according to President Trump. So, um, so that said, let's talk about delivery services here. Uh, there are a lot of delivery services out there. First of all, they all already have online ordering. So this is one advantage of the delivery service. They already have all this stuff packaged, packaged up for you. Okay, or we have online ordering. Um, they also have local marketing, sparking systems and services built in the system here. And right now, there are a lot of them are offering online incentives. So this is a fast and quick way to just get get back in the game again without having to do anything. Just talk to these people, review them all, and find out if, if they aim them work with similar restaurants such as your as your own. Also, their local reputation because some of these systems. Some of these services are great in certain areas, but are in, non-existent in other areas. So anyway, I collected up a list of the top services out there. Um, they go through them all, all real quick here. By the way, all these links are available on the show notes um, or, or in the descriptions of, of this video here. So you can go ahead and jump in there and get these links here. But you got DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart, Postmates, and Uber Eats. Again, all these have their well, all these have their will have their strengths and weaknesses depending on where you're at, um, and also depending on what type of uh, restaurant you have too. So I'd recommend, as I mentioned here too, review them all. All the links you have in, I have in here are going directly to the um, rest restaurant patrons for you to sign up. So review them all carefully. They're all gonna right now. They're gonna all, all gonna be one of your business, uh, and really really cut a deal, but. Whatever one you choose, they're gonna. It's gonna allow you to jump right back in the game pretty much instantly. So anyway, um, let's talk about takeouts, which is the next thing here. Uh, by the way, Chuck, I tell you a story about um, a little bit about the Inter Inter International Pizza Expo a little bit here. But let me talk about takeouts real quick. Uh, from my perspective, it basically cuts out the middleman. So instead of working with these d delivery services here, which they take a small percentage. You keep 100% of the order, so it's 100% of the money that goes in your business. Um, you do have to set up logistics, you know, the ordering process, websites, and stuff like that, which can be complicated. And let me talk about, let's jump into the, my um, experience at International Peace Expo. Um, I went there, I, I was a, a representative of a friend of mine's restaurant web solution service a while ago. So I was invited to go with him, with, with the company, to the International Peace Expo in Las Vegas. Wall-to-wall -wall pizza and beer, as far as you can see. Personally, the best conventions I've ever been to. Um, <clears throat> we were one of five competitors with with a website solution for restaurants. Um, that said, the point of sale systems, which most all, all restaurants have, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of them out there. We were by far outnumbered by the point of sale systems out there. Um, all these folks wanted to work with us because we had the end solution, the online solution. <clears throat> and uh, they wanted to merge with our West, merge with their web solution so they kind of this, this all-in-one package. Um, <clears throat> putting it simply here, 
Most all these things, all their systems were overly complicated, which therefore would be overcomplicate their operations for a typical restaurant. So that said, I want to offer a, a more simple solution and cheap solution that can work basically right now. So anyway, uh, I just became a partner with a company called PageVamp. And the reason why I did is because I found out the year, from my perspective, working with many, many different web solutions out there, WordPress and, and Wix and stuff like that, this is the fastest way I've seen to create a professional website. In fact, the time it takes for me to explain what PageVamp does, you could have got a website done. It's really that fast. Um, you basically, what it does, it builds websites from a Facebook page. If you already have an existing Facebook page or a business has an existing Facebook page, this system will extract the information from that page, create the website for you in less than five minutes. Less than two minutes, actually. Um, <clears throat> also, very easy to maintain, too. Basically, you synchronize everything for your Facebook page, automatically updates the, updates the web page, website. So, or you can use the, or you can update through the site manager as well. Um, something that offer you here, too, is uh, there's a 14 day free trial they can use. It, Try it out for free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Um, I have the link here, primesconsoles.net slash link slash page wrap. Once again, these links are available in the show notes. So what you want to do with this is um, if you don't have a website already, do Poi page wrap, okay? And also publish a menu. And you don't have to do the e-commerce system. Or you can just take your existing menu is type it all in okay don't have to be very complicated about it most people when they do takeout orders are, uh, are going to call in anyway so just having a menu available is going to be a huge, uh, huge just for them to read it is going to be huge okay uh and, and also it cuts down on, on on the on the complication of everything here too nothing what i'll do too is add your menu uh, add to you add to your menu uh during a uh, do-yourself Cook at home meals, where you have pre pre prepped meals in a box, whatever your customer take it home, cook it uh, cook it at home. Um, once that's done, jump on Facebook or Instagram and let everybody know you're open. Okay, um, and I'll show you how I do this in future episodes because this is something that, um, frankly, this is something I noticed recently here. Facebook, and Instagram it, it uses exploding right now. Also. Collect customer contact information so you can remark them during the COVID-19 lockdown. We're going to talk about that later in a little bit here. So anyway, um, next thing here is uh, your local business listing. This is something that is an issue problematic, not just during COVID-19, but usually before and even probably after or two. This is the best free advertisement you can do for any business, especially restaurants. That's how most customers will go to find your business. They're going to basically Google for you, for your business. And if you're not maintaining your local listings, they're going to be not going to be found. I just talked to a client just before I did this video here where they're scratching their head wondering why nobody's ever called them or they have dropped out business even before the COVID-19 lockdown. And I looked up, they didn't, they never, they never, claim their their business listing so so many don't claim their listing and then also many don't even update their listing just let it hang there so that's basically throwing away free customer traffic um so this is something that's frankly free to do um you can go the to the most popular um online business listings google my business um you have the link here again this is in the show notes um google.com slash intl slash ens business just use the link there also being places with the second most popular which is being places.com ah. so anyway um so you want to do here is go to these places here claim your listings do i have that in here too yeah claim your listing if you're not done already update it with your current hours your business information, or if you're temporarily closed. Update with pictures and videos and stuff like that. Um, this is what I call Google food. These little things here, if you if you maintain your Google listing, Google's going to love you and give you a little bit of bumping your ranking here. Also, Google has these things on their system, even being to a coupon system. So you create coupons right on the fly here. So this is something that is 
free to do and get will get people in the door too. Uh, I have one of my clients here that um, they had an issue where a previous web guy had basically squatted on their Google Places. It took me about a month and a half to um, regain control over it. Once we did some modification, all of a sudden their, their phone calls were exploding. So this is uh, something that can very easily do on your own. And like I say, if you're not on top of this, even before the COVID-19 lockdown, and you're wondering why you're not getting any phone calls, very likely it's because you either didn't claim your listing or you haven't updated it. So this is a very free way, cheap way <laughs> to to get the get the phone to ring and keep your customers coming to your door. Um, let's talk about the email marketing thing. I get a lot of pushback from 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 recommending this, and I want to explain this out a little bit more. <clears throat> um, many shun email marketing because they think it's spam or old school. Um, fact is, email marketing is most cost effective means to advertise, no matter what you do. Online, offline, radio, TV, whatever, um, Facebook ads, Google, all that stuff. <clears throat> the reason is it's the most used service on the internet. 90% market penetration. That means 90% of the people who go online have an email address. Nothing else comes close. You can Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. You can combine them all and they still don't even penetrate the market like email does. Also, it's the best way to touch customers directly. You have direct access to them without the noise like you would have on these other services. And it's frankly, it's easy to do too. Um, <clears throat> there's also free training involved, which I'm going to get to here in a little bit. Um, so what you want to do with email marketing here is we, I am a partner with Constant Contact. If link here, pineconstant.net slash leads slash constant contact. That's going to send you to a free trial for try, uh, to to sign up for constant contact for free. Also, free trainings including because the folks at constant contact would, will call you up, walk you through a very very good training course on email marketing. It'll take you from not ever doing not ever not ever doing it at all to become a pretty pretty competent at it within a very short time. Uh, you're going to collect emails from your customers, your current customers, and, and, and your incoming customers, okay? And you can see email notices frequently, daily specials, send them delivery, take out instructions, even favorite recipes. Keep them involved. Keep them, keep them going here. Now's the time to do this, okay? Um, and and also, to, I want to emphasize here, too, not just you don't have to just do one over the other, one or the other. You want to do everything you can, but definitely, if you're going to do one thing at all, one thing at all for marketing, you want to do email, okay? But we want to do everything. So anyway, that's what you want to do for email marketing. Um, I wanted to round this off a little bit. I'll let you, let you folks know out there the paid advertisement opportunity out here. Um, I've been monitoring a lot of my clients are still kind of operational here. Notice that the... Um, Facebook and Google ad prices have been dropping like a rock. Between 40 to 60% reduction of your typical cost per click. That they, that's a common term used for. Also, significant contact, contact increases. A lot more phone calls. A lot more visitors coming from these ads. And the reason why is many businesses are just simply shutting down and they stopped advertising. So... Um, but customers are still out looking for these businesses. So this is something I discuss in other episodes. So it's not necessarily about restaurants, but businesses in general. But this is something um, that's going to be a big thing for you restaurant owners out there. You'll be able to, to if you've never done paid advertising before, now is the time to jump in because it's cheap. And it's going to be very effective. So anyway, I'm going to cover that in, in, in an upcoming ep episode here. So anyway, what's coming up is I'm going to be pushing more uh, COVID-19 episodes to help help more business during the lockdown. And I'm going to cover the more uh, Facebook and, inter and Instagram marketing and, and all the social network marketing, along with email marketing too. I'm going to start doing some live stream shows because um, there's lots, everything's very fluid right now. So I'm going to come up with current updates, what's been going on, some extra tips at the time, so on and so forth. Um, also, just a live Q and A because I know you, a lot of you folks out there got a lot of questions, and I want to try to answer and try to get get in the right direction. <clears throat> I'm also going to continue one on one assistance. You know, um, 
this is one thing I always have free initial consultation. I'm also going to also discount on my fees and deferred payments to make it easier for you folks out there to um, jump out to get some really professional services, get you going the right direction to get you up and going, get you to succeed. So um, anyway, uh, I'm also going to encourage you to visit my website, primeconsult.net. Prime We've got links to episodes. Uh, to this, this episode, other episodes on the YouTube channel, podcast channels, um, and also the show notes. I'll also access to a lot of free tutorials and information and some exclusive discount offers uh, to subscribe to our newsletter. <clears throat> and on, on all the stuff here that we have on the website, it's literally helping businesses to see it online. Now, if you need help right away, um, you know, website, SEO, step internet marketing, e-commerce, um, e-strategy planning, all that stuff, social networking. Uh, frankly, do you need more customers? Just go, give us a call. Phone number 760-247-4814. As I mentioned before, consultation is always free. Now, many businesses for free for over 20 years. So um, make that call if you want. Last but not least here, um, please share this. I know you. a lot of folks out there are, are, are a lot of business owners out there are really struggling or shutting down, scared. Um, I'm hoping this information can help them out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping if, if this is not enough information, give me a call and let's see what can do what more we can do for you. But uh, for you folks out there, um, there's people out there that that don't know what to do, don't know how to handle it, and hopefully this might be something that that, that give them a, keep keep them going. So please please share this. Um, that said, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, thank you for listening and watching this episode. And I um, hope you, hope you uh, gain something from it. And uh, you folks out there, uh, good luck to you. Godspeed to your success. Keep on going out there. Uh, my prayer's out for you. We'll talk to you later.